Your wedding is one of the most special events of your life. But before this big day can happen, there's a question that needs to be asked first. That's where we come in. Here we go. I'm Aubrey. I'm Sarah. And we're proposal fairy godmothers, working hard to make couples' dreams come true. Oh, yes. Welcome to The Proposal. Today in Vancouver, it's a whale of a time with a shy suitor who wants to make his animal-loving girlfriend dream come true. But will a language barrier block his big moment? Do you speak Mandarin? No, not really. Do you speak Mandarin a little bit? A little bit? And over in Edmonton, one gentle giant tries to sweep his lady love off her feet in a luxurious proposal that'll have her head spinning. It is just like a dream. Today is all about luxury for the love of your life. Even if luxury means going under the sea. But first, let's meet Ryan, a teddy bear of a man who isn't exactly new to proposing. I've been married twice before. The first time I got married, it was young. It was more in love with being in love. My past relationships, they weren't good, like they ended bad. That was until Brenda. We met on a dating site. With much luck on there and all of a sudden I got a two word reply from a girl. And all she said was nice profile. But from there we talked for about a year. I preferred uh, that way to be chatting online to, to know who it really is. That patient year of online communication paid off. And when they met face to face, sparks flew. As soon as I seen her, I was like, wow, this is, she's wow. The first uh, time uh, I, I met him, I, I can tell that very loving person and, and he is very honest. She's the one, she's everything I've looked for, searched for, wanted. If I could make a checklist and give it to Santa, everything she is would be on. They may be soulmates, but these two are a strong case of opposites attract. She's more of the private, shy, laid back, and I'm more of the, hello. It is gorgeous out here. I am very cautious that I really don't trust anybody else. When I came here, the only thing I have in mind is just to work and, and to have uh, something to send home, because I am the breadwinner uh, of the family. She keeps me grounded. Because I'm just a very, uh, I'm just a very simple, simple lady. And that's why Ryan wants to completely spoil his simple gal with a lavish marriage proposal. I knew I wanted to do something special. I wanted to make her feel like a queen. <laughs> she deserves something over the top. We put our proposal thinking caps on and came up with the perfect place. To spoil Brenda with a grand proposal, we know that no one does it better in Edmonton than the Fairmont Hotel McDonald. Good evening, Ryan. Good evening. Welcome to the Fairmont Hotel McDonald. Thank you very much. Nice to have you. It's the day before the proposal, and Ryan is scoping out his luxurious digs. This week, the Queen stayed in in 2005 when she was here. Uh, that was her last visit to Edmonton. The Queen? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Rock stars, rock stars stay here. Oh. Tom Petty stayed here for four days. I'm free ballin'. Okay, let's face it, I'm not the queen and she is no Tom Petty. I think it's actually absolutely amazing. It's perfect. I don't think I could think of any or imagine anything else more fitting for my dream come true. Well, now that that's settled, Ryan has to get Brenda to the hotel without a hint of suspicion. So he told her a little white lie, like any man would do. As far as she knows right now is I got a promotion at work. They had put us up at the Fairmont McDonald in Edmonton. And then she's like, well, are there any other supervisors here? And I'm like, nope, this is our thing. I am very excited for this proposal. Brenda has also been led to believe that they have been selected randomly to participate in a tourism video for the hotel. I'm very, let's give her a shot and she's more, well, you know. Their promo roles, testing out a new menu prepared by the head chef himself. Here's Ryan's proposal plan. Tomorrow, when the couple arrive at the penthouse suite for lunch, Ryan will need to keep his nerves at bay while the first course is served. Then, when the dish is finished and cleared off the table, that will be his cue to propose and profess his love. 
here at the Hotel McDonald. We're very excited to, to have them and we're going to host a, a beautiful uh, three-course luncheon. And they love to dine out. We love going to the theater, like to watch movies and... Restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese restaurant. They have the Jap the Mikado. Oh my God. You just wait to see what the chef has in store for you. I'm hoping that they're not only going to ooh and ah, but they're going to be blown away and they're going to be so happy and excited that she can say nothing but yes to his proposals. Exactly. There's just one thing. I hate surprises. Based from who I am and where I come from, and I am not used to the fancy stuff like this. You don't like fancy stuff? What? We didn't see this coming. It's proposal day here at the Hotel McDonald, and Chef Andrew is ready to set the stage for Ryan's luxurious proposal. As we're walking into the room, I'm feeling tense and nervous because I know that Brenda doesn't like the cameras. So please come on in. Don't be shy. Come on in, and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a seat. I'm just hoping that everything goes to plan, goes without a flaw. See there. You can move that. Thank so you. here is All your right. fresh you mozzarella and tomato salad with balsamic reduction. What's this? God. So, how's your first bite so far? Oh, my first bite, um, I don't taste any. I don't taste anything. I mean, it's, it's plain. Well, this is awkward. Very, very plain, very mm -hmm. subtle. Yeah, this one. Okay. You know, right. I'm not eating any salad. And let me see where it is. <laughs> Not the excitement level anyone was expecting. I know she's feeling tense and I know she's feeling agitated because she knows something's up and something's not right. We need to get this proposal going now. I'm not gonna hit this. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> That's her. But anyway, um, we're here under false pretenses. What do you mean? Um, my work didn't do this. I invited all these guys here. Oh my god. You did all of this? I did all of this. You lied to me? Mm -hmm. Things aren't looking good in the Hotel McDonald penthouse suite, as unsuspecting bride Brenda seems to be out of her element in this lavish setting. We're here under false pretenses. You lied to me? Brenda's not very impressed with her lunch so far. I'm not gonna eat this. <laughs> or with what the love of her life is saying to her. I wanted to do something special for you. Do you know all these guys? No, I met these guys yesterday for the first time. They know everything about us? They know us, yes. You didn't tell me. No, that's what the whole part of it. You're not supposed to know. Exactly. <sighs> You've been the best thing in my life. <laughs> don't, don't and start. Yes. I love you I'm completely. I'm blasting, don't. <laughs> I'm going to anyway. Brenda, will you marry me? You you did it, did all of this, one? I did all this for you. You know my answer, yeah? <laughs> no, I like it. I've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> you know Just that. Rip. Ooh, that was close. I feel like I'm like a princess. You are a princess. In a castle. It is a castle. It's awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> I love you. It's very overwhelming. It's unbelievable. I am so happy this worked out. He, he did uh, everything that he can to, to make me happy. 
and 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 I uh, I appreciate that very much. I'm so excited for the future, and I couldn't imagine it being with anyone else. I am very lucky. I can feel that through my bones and in my heart. Time to switch gears and head to beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Meet Daryl and his animal-loving girlfriend, Jennifer. <laughs> These two Vancouver Islanders have been together for three years. The first time we met, I was really, really little. My family used to come in and eat in his Chinese food restaurant. He was just one of the family that worked there, so I don't really remember him too, too much. <laughs> He remembers me, there's an age difference. She was a shy little girl. She was really cute, always properly well-mannered and dressed really nice. She was just a young, typical, <laughs> cute little girl. And years later, their paths would cross again. I ended up reconnecting with Jennifer a few years back when I started working out at the gym. I was working at a gym and he used to come in and... and I actually remembered her and recognized her and I said, hey, I remember you and... He asked me for coffee. And that was that. The first couple of dates with Jennifer were <laughs> pretty awkward, actually. The first date we went for coffee and... He came and spent the whole time on his Blackberry and then left after like 15 minutes. We had a hockey pool to do that day and I was texting all the guys about the hockey pool to meet up for the hockey pool. I don't know why I agreed to a second date, but I'm really glad I did. The second one we went to a movie and the movie was really, really bad. <laughs> probably fell asleep. I always fall asleep watching movies. <laughs> they were really two of the most awkward dates ever. No matter how bad I screw up or whatever I do bad, she's always there for me. So that's pretty much true love, I think. Oh, there's so many different reasons why I love Daryl. He's so caring and compassionate and amazing. And what did I say passionate? Passionate about everything. Now, although Daryl's always known Jennifer as the one, this proposal wouldn't have been put into motion if it wasn't for a little angel named Julia. Julia is Jennifer's little sister who was adopted as a newborn 16 years ago. She's a miracle baby who has spent many of her years at the Children's Hospital. Throughout all of her health battles, she still remains an eternal optimist who believes in true love. Julia always does everything for me. She's amazing. Her and I have been best friends since we were born. I was sisters, so and we just love each other. Daryl's unbelievable with Julia. He's so natural and loving, and he's just always thought of her as a sister too, and the two of them are amazing together. Julia means the world to me. I've never had a sister before, and now I'm learning what it's like to have a sister. She's the greatest kid ever. He's like trusting, and like he's trusting to my sister, and I believe that's, that's the big thing for couples. It was this spicy little sister that got the ball rolling. I was watching TV and this commercial came up for a soft proposal and I went to my computer and started writing waiting email. Just basically said that my sister and her boyfriend have been dating for a few years. They really like each other and I want to nominate them for the show. That heartfelt email worked. I got a phone call and then I heard the switch of a soft proposal, you guys won. And I was like, in shock. That was when everyone agreed Daryl and Jennifer should get engaged. There was just, you know, one person we had to let know. Daryl. I was already thinking about proposing to her, but if Julia hadn't put me forward to doing this, I probably would have waited. I'm a pretty good procrastinator. Everyone had to be careful with the plan because Jennifer knows all about the show. So I saw the commercial for the proposal show and I asked Julia, I said, oh, that would be really cool. And she was like, no, that's lame. <laughs> and then she just kind of left it. She's like, Daryl wouldn't do that. Nice save, Julia. I was so excited. Once Daryl was on board, we needed a proposal Jennifer would love and she loves animals. Here's the plan. Daryl will bring Jennifer to the Vancouver Aquarium to go on a dolphin excursion. When they arrive, they will be given an educational lesson and then interact with the dolphins. While they're playing with the dolphins, Daryl will get down on one knee and ask Jennifer to marry him with family cheering in the stand. We're gonna put the family, when they get here, we're gonna put them along here. So today is the big day as I'm trying to figure out the logistics all by myself. Where's Aubrey? Just 
just hanging out with some penguins. Jennifer and Daryl are out front, and because I'm 10 minutes late, I have to wait until the coast is clear. As our couple begins the tour, I'm still with the penguins. And I'm doing everything by myself. I can't go anywhere. You don't want them to see me. <laughs> Aubrey, where are you? I'm with the penguins. While Sarah is organizing things, our couple is well into their aquatic education. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of challenges in the dolphin sea. I probably missed half of the stuff they were telling us when they were giving us the education about the dolphins because I had so much on my mind. And finally, I got to go into the aquarium. What time is it? There we go. Okay, guys, get ready to meet the dolphins. I don't think she suspects anything yet. I really don't. She's really thinking this is a dolphin encounter. She's so cool. cool. It is really cool. Really exciting. The dolphins are really cool. I'm feeling super, super nervous. Like, super nervous. Me too. Now that we're all here, it's time to get this proposal going. Julia's reason that this is all happening today, right? Jim asked, what if she says no? And he said, well, if she says no, I'll be right here to kick her in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes away from the show, and already I'm getting my normal. Good morning, everyone, and welcome oh. to the Vancouver Aquarium. My name is Paula. So we'll be getting started with our Caring for Dolphins program. Um, so you guys are comfortable touching the fish? Yeah. You want to feed? Okay. So when we feed the dolphins, I'll probably just give you one fish at a time. Okay. And you're just going to do And just as we have everything set, we run into a bit of a problem. Nobody speaks English? No. We have our back turned for one minute, and there's a tourist group blocking the family cheering spot. A tourist group who doesn't speak English. Do you speak Mandarin? Do you speak Mandarin a little bit? A little bit? Marriage? Okay. Okay, so during the show, the, her son is going to get down on a knee and propose. They need to come to the front. They need to come to the front. Is that okay? If this tour group doesn't move, Julia and the family will miss Daryl's proposal. Let them go to the front. We are at the Vancouver Aquarium, where our hopeful suitor is about to propose to his girlfriend. All their family has traveled for the big event, but a tour group is blocking the entire family, and communication is proving difficult. You stay right here. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. When we tap you, yeah, yeah. just move a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just move it out, move it out. Lucky for me, I am very adept at charades. I think I got our message through. Is that okay? I'm pretty sure this tour group thinks we're crazy. One more time, one more practice. Ready? Okay. Tap, tap. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> this guy has no idea what's going on right now. I'm so sorry. Or maybe just that I'm crazy. <laughs> This is amazing. Can you tell us all about Hannah? Not really. She's just amazing. It's important for us to remember to try and make sure all the events are ready to play. So they only have one set of teeth their whole life. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. With the hope that our communication is clear, we're seconds away from the proposal. And here's Daryl's cue. Okay, gentlemen, have you given last fish here? Daryl. All right. Now, do you guys have any questions? No, that's it. Daryl, we're waiting. You have a big smile, because this is a great shot. Oh, that's so much. I was pretty nervous at the time, but I wasn't sure if she was exactly done the whole, the whole lecture and the whole uh, experience yet, so I kind of let her wait. OK. And I missed the first cue. OK, go ahead, stand up. Oh, <laughs> oh I forgot you went. Sure. As soon as she gave us another fish and I looked at her and she gave me the nod and I knew it was it. Oh, I almost missed. Perfect. Okay. So I got one question here. Okay. 
Jennifer and I, Auntie, will you marry me? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I can't believe I'm crying. I don't know if it's fish or not. I did have fish all over my hands and my face because I was crying and I touched my face. Hold on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited and confused. I walked away without taking the ring. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you want the ring? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh. I can't have my hands are shaking so much. Okay, don't drop it. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the dolphin to get it. I love animals and they make me happy and having them involved was amazing because it's two of my favorite things. <laughs> good job, you did good! <laughs> Thank you. Great job, Daryl. And good job, Julia. Julia, we promise you the first one we're going to tell. We're getting married. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh. I feel the proposal went pretty good. I definitely, after I got it on cue properly and asked the question at the right time. It was awesome. I had absolutely no idea. Daryl, doing it in public was really amazing. It was really nice to have my family and have a whole bunch of people witness it. This commercial came up for the shop proposal. I asked Mom if I could do that for you and Dale, and she said, no, you shouldn't, because it's really Dale, the one that has to do it. <laughs> and uh, you know me, I wasn't going to let that pass. I can't believe it all happened, but I, I'm happy it did. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You're welcome. I love you. I was surprised Julia could keep a secret that long, but she kept a good good secret, and she did a great job. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello. The two of them like to do their own thing, and I just kind of let them, and knowing that the two of them work together on the proposal is amazing. Having both families there was great. I knew it was a big thing for Jennifer to have their family there. It's amazing to combine our families. I couldn't have dreamed this up in a million years. I kind of imagined a proposal, but it was nothing as spectacular as this. It was unbelievable. Wardrobe for Sarah, provided by Frost. <laughs> Aubrey's clothes, provided by Crystal Lee. A special thanks to the Vancouver Aquarium. Accommodations and culinary services provided by the Fairmont Hotel McDonald. And I wanted to know, I'm wondering if I'm allergic to dolphins. Is that possible? Uh... <laughs> oh, cute. I don't know why I'm reacting like this. Kind of look like dinosaurs to me. They look old. What's she doing? Is she doing? Oh. <laughs> so stick around for the end and cheer for them. Okay. okay? <laughs> but don't let the cat out of the bag. And when she comes Can up, we yell, "Don't do it." <laughs> Her dad's over there. He will come and shove well, you in the well, water. I might agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like, "Marry my daughter." <laughs> do. I just stopped crying. Do it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love I'm so in love with this place. If you want to learn more about our couples and their road to the big day, check out our webpage, shaw.ca slash the proposal. Next week on The Proposal. Oh, oh, oh! Merry Christmas, what? everybody! Joan, will you marry me? That's it. Oh my God! Here. So I never really did get down on one knee and ask her. He just said, okay. He could have done it not in a Santa costume. That to me is kind of tacky. He tossed the ring at me. <laughs> it was, uh, the fight was on. Giving her the, the ring and just say, do you want it or you don't? <laughs> I have your ring. Oh my God.